told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me This Aston Martin the fifth eight from the James Bond film will be auctioned with prices starting at 21 billion Indonesian rupees the Living Daylights, the 15th film in the James Bond franchise, debuts British actor Timothy Dalton as Bond. The film was released in the summer of 1987 and marked the return of the Aston Martin as Bond's vehicle of choice after a period of absence. One of these is a 1973 Aston Martin the 5th 8, one of four cars still in good working order and used in the filming process. After going through a thorough restoration, this car will be auctioned off by Erm Sotheby's at the Monterey auction which will take place on August 17-19-2023. At the start of production in 1973, the Aston Martin the 5th 8 was sold with Tudor green metallic paint, fuel injection engines and automatic transmissions. In 1986, Eon Films decided to buy its cars used because of the long waiting times for new cars. For the purposes of the film, the car was then repainted in Cumberland Grey, added the bonnet from the carburetor model, and installed an open roof. Some details were also updated to match the design of the car when it first went on sale 13 years earlier. Additionally, the car is equipped with a faux rocket to create the impression of a car fit for James Bond. Eon Productions kept this car until 1995, when it was sold to the famous James Bond movie collector, Peter Nelson. This car has also been exhibited at the Cars of the Stars Motor Museum in England and became part of the permanent exhibition until 2004, when it was sold to a collector in the United States. In 2021, the car will be sold to the current owner who has decided to give the original engine back so it can be driven on the road. The car was equipped with a V540 carburetor V8 engine with an upgraded Vantage specification, and a corresponding ZF5 speed manual transmission. When repairing engines, owners also take the opportunity to repair corrosion, fix mechanical problems and repaint the car so it looks like new. Additionally, a detachable center console is installed with fake buttons for all the gadgets in the film, including the self-destruct button. Finally, a real flamethrower was added to make the rocket behind the car look more realistic than the movie. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. However, to own this rare car, enthusiasts must be prepared for a price that is not cheap. Erm Sotheby's estimates the 1973 Aston Martin V 8 will sell for between $1.4 million and $1.8 million. The reason is, being the owner of the original James Bond car is certainly a matter of pride for collectors and fans of this iconic film.
you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look